chips and cheese and Nana's knees. What is alliteration? By Brian P. Cleary, illustrated by Martin Ganon. When words are close together and they start with the same sound, it's called alliteration, as in, Francis froze and frowned. You can find alliteration in poems and prose and praise, prayers. And once you learn about it, then you'll see it everywhere. Like lovely lemon lollipops are likely to be licked. Or petals on the pink petunias peacefully are picked. These sounds are formed by letters, some identical, some not. Like Sandy sewed a suit for Sam. And cool, it's Kevin's cot. See how Kevin starts with K, but C is what starts cool. So it's the sound, not letters then, that really form this rule. The same sound is repeated one, once or twice or even more. Who wants to win a watermelon? As in, Fiona found her phone on Phoebe's kitchen floor. At times, alliteration makes a sentence sound quite silly. As in, the hike with Hank and Mike was humid, hot, and hilly. Or here, a night arrives one night and knocks upon our door. He needs a knife for Nan. His wife can cut their cake in four. Or even Peter Piper picked up pepperoni pie. When he popped in the pizza place, he often passes by. Sometimes letters join to form a single starting sound, as in the bride with braids of brown, strong streamers all around. Or Brian's brother Brad and Brent have brought banana bread, while Charlie chipped in cheesy chips and chicken wings instead. Alliteration seen in signs and streets that might surround you. It's also in the songs you hear and other stuff around you. It's on the news, your shirt, your shoes, and talk with Tax and tweeting. It packs some punch in poetry and always bears repeating. So, what is alliteration? Do you know?